in the fly. It's pretty much most years. And there is one just north of Sanantia right now. I'm not sure how close from that. There's another blow, it looks like there's probably two wheels there, but one comes completely out of the water. It's called a free foot. Let's say a German in the uh, top of the bottom, okay? That's one of the ones. Thank you. And um, some guy, one of the captains trying to... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big one. Look, oh, she has a calf. That's a mother and a calf there, it looks like. Oh. Here she comes. Oh. Oh. Get a tail. Oh. 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 Some action there in a minute. We'll wait for him. We'll wait for him. Come behind him. They won't be here. Come over. One tail. The other ones are still there. Yeah, that wheel, Paul estimates that would probably be about 40, 40. Yeah. Would you like to come over here? Yeah. Slap it, buddy. Woo! About, uh, they have a wingspan of about five. Yeah.
they go down there to mate and give birth. If they were to give birth here in the cold waters of the North Atlantic, they likely would perish and die. It's just like a fingerprint. Scientists can identify them, therefore, by looking at the other surface of their tail. I have a couple of pictures on board. Too much movement or swell for the ocean to freeze in. 